While the company issued the recall, they immediately pulled all of the ice cream off of the shelves. Dan Boone's restaurant has been serving Blue Bell ice cream as a free treat for almost 20 years. And after he heard about the recall, he had no choice but to pull it. They manufacture the, the ice cream made from cows, and the cows apparently is what grew the listeria, not necessarily Blue Bell's fault. Blue Bell's decision to pull all its products comes after two samplings of chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream tested positive for a bacteria called listeria. This bacteria can be deadly. So far, three people linked to the ice cream have died at a Kansas hospital. There are also two other cases in Kansas, three in Texas, one in Arizona, and one in Oklahoma. Dr. Ernest Stroop from Trinity Mother Francis says that listeria is not a common bacteria, but can be very dangerous. Essentially, listeria is typically a, not a severe illness. It usually can be self-limited, but if symptoms become very severe, then that's when they should seek medical care. Dr. Stroop also says we need to be careful when eating products that contain milk or anything uncooked like cookie dough. It's something that can be transmitted or passed through water, soil, uh, un pasteurized milk or poorly pasteurized milk, which is probably the key. This is the first time the Brenham, Texas company is issuing a recall in Blue Bell's 108 year history. Blue Bell says it will continue making ice cream, but will not release any more until every product is tested and confirmed to be listeria free. Now, if you have any products at home in your freezer, you want to make sure not to eat them so you can either throw them away or take them back to the store where you had purchased the products for a full refund. Mike and Jillian, back to you. All right, thanks, Jacqueline. You know, a lot of people have it in their freezer around yep. East Texas. Bluebell will initiate a test and hold procedure, as it's called, for all of its products. What that means is that any product will be tested first and it'll be held until the ice cream is shown to be safe.